Hello all. In this video session, we'll be discussing about passing structure to a function or passing structure as a function parameter. Okay. So consider that we have a structure student. It has the numbers, roll number, and name. Then we have a function print details, which will be printing the value in the variable structure variable s, and we have a main function inside, which we'll be calling the print details function. Okay. Now we'll just go through the execution of this program so this execution starts with main then memory is allocated for this structure variable student and it is initialized with role number one and name abc okay now the storage addresses are all assumption and uh, the after that print details of student is called so control will come here and here we are passing the structure variable by using the method pass by value so the value inside the stood is stored in the formal parameter s so a new variable s will be created here so memory will be allocated for s and after that these values are that is the values in student are stored in this variable s okay so we have memory will be allocated for s and the value inside stood will be stored in s so this one will come here and this abc will come here okay since we are copying the value from actual argument stud to the formal argument s any changes made in the formal argument that is if i change s dot roll number or s dot name it won't affect the actual argument stud okay so this is how we pass structure parameter using call by value method okay so any changes made in the formal argument doesn't affect the actual argument okay now in the second method we are passing structure parameter using the method pass by reference okay so same example is considered here we have a structure student then we have a function read details for reading the details of the student and uh, then there is a main function okay so the program execution starts with main then this statement is executed so the structure variable stud is created so the memory will be allocated like this so we have stud then we have the member roll number name consider these are stored in this particular address then we will be calling a read details and we will be passing address of this variable that is we will be passing 200 and it will be stored here since we are calling this read details function and its formal argument is a pointer to the type struct student so this 200 will be stored in this pointer p and then we will be scanning roll number and storing it in p points to roll number means in the if p is containing the address of a structure then it will store the roll number in the roll number part of the structure variable whose address is containing in p okay so in 200 it will be storing the roll number in the member part roll number so if i am giving a roll number 61 then 61 will be stored here okay then and after that we are reading the name and storing it at p points to name so if i give the name shweda it will be stored at this name part of the structure variable whose address is containing in p okay so if i give the name shweda it will be stored here okay so here if we make any change using this formal argument it will affect the actual argument so it is again a typical example of pass by reference any changes made in the formal argument will affect the actual argument okay so we have seen two methods of passing structure in a function first one is we pass by value method and again we have seen second method using pass by reference method and also the members of a structure are accessed using dot operator in the case of if we are using the structure variable and if we are using a pointer to a structure variable then we can access the members of the structure variable using points to operate okay remember all these thanks